Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries and our playthrough of Grand Theft Auto V Online. We have received the San Andreas Flight School. Pretty sweet, so we Hell get yeah. to go play all of the jobs. From what I hear, it will give us plenty of money and uh, basically just new stuff to do here on GTA Online. Uh, definitely excited to go check it out. Uh, let's go play, guys. I'm RJ, joining up with FPS Kyle. What's going on, everybody? And C-Dub. What's going on, my fellow pilots here in San Andreas? Let's take off and go to flight school. Now, uh, Corey, I know you have completed the San Andreas flight school. You are a bona fide pilot these days. Uh, what can you tell us about what we're about to do? Well, uh, it's a series of missions, much like the uh, flight school in single player. These are a little bit different. Some of them are more challenging. Um, there's eventually one you're going to do where you're going to have to learn to fly in formation, which I thought was one of the more challenging uh, challenging of all the missions here at flight school. But uh, hopefully today here we'll be able to complete all of them. Definitely uh, going to be pretty cool. Obviously, we got some new jets, so we'll be tested. Yep. We'll have to fly those, especially the brand new uh, the jet. What's it called? The Is it the Bestra, Corey? I forgot the name already. It's the Bestra, B-E-S-R-A. All right, so we'll definitely take that one for a spin. Uh, just so you guys know what we're going to do here, uh, Kyle and I are here at Trippycom's HQ, so we'll pretty much take turns. I'll go first and uh, see if I can do it. If I fail the, the mission or the job, then uh, obviously Kyle will try. If I do succeed, then I'll still pass it over, and Kyle will do the next mission and see if he can pull it off. So that's how we'll do that. Uh, Corey is at the uh, Trippycom's Tennessee headquarters, so uh, he'll, of course, be spectating. And because he has already defeated the San Andreas Flight School, he can uh, critique us and tell us what we're doing wrong, or hopefully, in this case, tell us we did a great job. Yeah. All right, Corey, we have made it to the flight school here. Uh, I'm assuming we have to climb up the stairs. Yep. And uh, kick it off here. Uh, what are we going to be doing? Is there a specific instructor? Is it pretty much the exact same thing as single player where it's just going to tell us what we need to do? Yeah, I mean, you have a specific instructor who says some pretty funny stuff. Uh, you know, I think at one point he calls you a shit heel, which is another word for, uh, of course, somebody who's a greenhorn or somebody who's new at this. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, he's a little bit hard on you at first, so uh, some of these missions are going to be fairly tough. But I think as long as you uh, pay attention and do your best, you should be good to go. Wow, got a nice list here. Yeah. Uh, FPS Kyle, you also have played, what, most of this? I know you said most you did not it. complete uh, it. Yeah, I got to the formation flight, and that's pretty much where I stopped at. It was definitely the most challenging one um, so far. Hmm. These first ones are fun, man. There's a lot of cool stuff that you do. I love this first one, Outside Loop. We're actually going to go underneath a bridge, which is really? pretty exciting. Um, so I let's, pull this uh, off. let's see what you can do here. Okay, so we've got a cool uh, filter here. It looks like a TV screen. Very nice. Yeah, much like the single-player mode. It's kind yeah. of a similar layout. Pretty cool, man. Uh, hopefully they elaborate on this even more. Uh, there's so much more they can do here. There's so much that is possible with these jets. Looks like we're going to be using the old-school laser for this one. Uh, we do have to mention that we did not receive the Hydra, unfortunately. I know a lot of people speculated that we could possibly receive the Hydra, which was the jet seen in the original GTA San Andreas. That one has the ability to take off and fly vertically. Pretty sweet. Hopefully we yeah, get yeah. that at some point. Uh, the, the new jets we got are a little lackluster with the exception of the 16-seater mill jet. Uh, I suppose that's pretty cool to have 16 people all in one jet. We'll yep. be doing that here at Trippy Comms. We'll show that off in all its glory. But uh, other than that, really nothing too exciting. I'm sure we'll be showing off the uh, best right here pretty soon as well. All right, what are we doing here, uh, FPS? You want to get a little bit of altitude and then do uh, outside loop. So pretty much put it for put your uh, left thumbstick straight down. All right. You got to do the loop. You're... You've this gone too far. You think so? Yeah, you've... This thing's pretty you're good. You done fucked up. Oh, boy. Yep, you done. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I will pass the controller to you. All right. Hopefully you fare you better than I do. That's pretty tough. I didn't expect it to be so hard so quickly. Because the, the other San, or the you know the single-player flight school, it's pretty much some gimmies right off the bat. It's like, learn how to take off. Learn how to land, which is... This one's pretty easy. I mean, fun. you got to... Uh, 
you just got to kind of pay attention to what he's telling you to do, obviously. Um, but pretty much what we're going to do here, we're going to go through this first checkpoint and then get a little bit of altitude and then, uh, yeah, just throw the, uh, the thumbstick left and you'll be good to go. All right, don't miss this checkpoint, FPS. Yeah, we're good. Damn. All right, so just get a little uh, altitude and let's do this. There you go. Very touchy. Interesting. Yes, it's got to be straight up. Yeah, you got you to gotta be sure to hold it straight forward. Uh, if you deviate off to the left or right, uh, you're going to be shit out of luck, unfortunately. Yep. Okay. All right, so now is when I go under the bridge. Oh, nice. <laughs> Close as hell. Oh, yeah, it was. And we'll bring it back out, and we're good. All right, well we done. We got silver. Not bad. So uh, we'll take that. Take and it. we will move on to the next mission here. This will be, of course, passed back to me. Hopefully I don't fuck it up like I did last time, as uh, that could be a recurring theme. Now, one thing I wanted to mention on this, if you get gold, it's about 8,000. And that's a pretty quick mission to do. Pretty, And you can keep doing it over and over again and keep really? getting 8,000. So. Oh, wow. Well, uh, guys, I know they took away the big payout from Rooftop Rumble, so it sounds like we can kind of recommend... This flight school is a good way to get some money. Uh, engine failure. Land the miljet with an engine failure. This was uh, pretty cool. Corey, I can imagine you were an expert at this. Is uh, You're basically the trippy comms commando. Uh, what can you tell us about this mission? Yeah, basically, uh, as it says, you're, you're going to have some engine problems here. And uh, you're going to have to land this big guy here right on the runway. You just glide. stop as close to the target as possible. Yep, you're just gliding. You got no no engines, no nothing. You're just gliding through the air. All right, I've done this many a times in the real game as my engine has failed on me <laughs> uh, time and time again. But uh, hopefully this time is successful. It appears as if the engine is already out. Pretty much just got to hang it up. So here's the new mill jet. It yep. uh, doesn't really look too different than the other jet in the game. Uh Corey, anything to add about this thing as doesn't seem to be too special? No, uh, of course, you know, I mean, it's just your standard big uh, airliner. Um, it's definitely tough to maneuver compared to the lighter and uh, more perhaps nimble uh, Bessera and the, uh, the laser, which, of course, I mean, the laser, man, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff in that. But uh, as you can see here, landing this big guy, it's uh, not quite as easy uh, as uh, perhaps maneuvering around in those jets. Hmm. Not too bad. I've done this a couple times in real life, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I guess we'll move on to the next mission as I cross the checkered flag. Well, let's see how close you got to stop. You got to stop close to the. Oh, really? Yep. Damn it. I thought it was a go through it kind nope. of thing. You got to come to a complete stop. And this might not was... see what you're going to get here. Uh oh, oh, we got bronze the bronze star. So we we'll can at least take move it. on. We can at least move yeah. on. <laughs> I didn't know. I was trying to run through it like Usain Bolt. We'll see you guys at the next mission. Time for the chase parachute mission. C dub. Uh, I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. Yep, they're going to kick your ass right on out of the plane with no parachute. Go and get it, or else you're going to be a splatter on the pavement. Yeah, it's a long fall, too. FPS Kyle, so you've done this as well. Uh, I got, I did easy. it one time, and I got lucky. I, did, I got it on the first time, so we'll see if uh, that was beginner's luck or if I can just do this. Man, this is epic. That's yeah. an awesome view right there. They probably should try to use stuff like this a little bit more. I felt like it's a little bit underutilized. Perhaps throw more stuff in single player because they in the trailers of the game they were showing off a lot of stuff just like that Get it? yeah nice catch you got it but at least they're bringing that kind of uh, gameplay back with the san andreas flight school okay so now at this point you just pretty much have to land as close to the uh marker there as possible yep. uh, make sure to hold the lb and rb buttons at the same time to make it even easier to land that's definitely key when uh controlling the parachute here is Looks like they're taking you to the, I think that's the college over there. You got the, the baseball field, or it's yeah. kind of like a track and field kind of thing. Uh, C-Dub, uh, did you have a hard time with this one? 
Yeah, I had to uh, actually do this one twice. Uh, the first time I completely missed and got a uh, face full of pavement. Uh, but I was able to catch it on the second attempt, no problem. And uh, yeah, it's definitely one of the most memorable missions of the flight school. Pretty crazy. Here comes K-Mac in for the close as he has two military trucks waiting for him. That's pretty cool. There's the batting cage or maybe a javelin cage. Ah, a little far. Uh, didn't get us the gold, but... Uh, land right or die. Wow, this guy is a bit of a hard ass. Jesus. Failed. Oh, man. What? He did not land close enough, apparently. Wow, I guess you're going to be in the very middle circle. Wow. This is going to be tough, as I'm not confident I can catch this parachute. Oh, boy. Let's my my kind of technique for catching the, the parachute is to kind of level yourself off. I was kind of holding up, so my guy was kind of going more out and get right above it to where you can just drop straight down to it. Uh, yeah. So like C-Dub, we have to try it over one more time. Uh, Corey, do you have any advice for me as I try to grab this parachute out of the air? Don't miss the target. Oh, God, this is going to be hard as fuck. Okay, it looks like a speck. Um, uh, you want to do it straight down? Go down. I dive. Know. Dive. I can't even see the damn thing. Damn. It's right there. You turn around. Turn. Get, wow, get this is hard as balls. All right, here we go. Yeah, you're good. You so turn. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Oh, man. Oh, you're this good. would be horrific. <laughs> you're on pace. There you Come go. Come on. Oh, oh fuck. No. There you are. Right. It's still falling. <laughs> you still got this time. This is going to be a bloody ending. <laughs> you still got time. Come on. All right, go get it. There it is. You just hold it. You're good. Hold up. You son got of a it. bitch. You got it. All right. I get over the I think we field. have enough time. I don't know. We're way the fuck over here towards Vespucci Beach. I'm going to have to pull up as much as possible. I, I don't know. I think we're extremely far away at this point. I think this thing glitched online because I was right outside the main it circle. It did look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it. Unfortunately, uh, I guess no. we'll uh, meet you guys back in the uh, the chopper there One more as we chance. try this again. Uh, man, that was tough. Yeah. It's kind of nerve-wracking, too. All right, K-Mac, it's up to you, man. This is there our third attempt at it. I, unfortunately, was not very close. It looked like you pulled it off, but it said you did not land in the zone uh, good enough, I suppose. That's crazy. So you have to dive down right away. I guess that makes sense. This this looks like a mission straight oh, out of James Bond. Yeah, there we go. Well done. Much better than me at this one, that's for sure. All right. Now, uh, Kyle, this is something that... Uh, should be pretty easy as yeah, long no, as right? you use those bumper buttons. I think we can actually get directly in the middle. It's a little bit challenging, I know, but uh, yeah, that was the part I wasn't expecting to mess up. Like catching the uh, parachute is the hard part, right? And this is kind of easy here. I don't know what happened. We'll try it again. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was just outside the main circle, so now C Dub, there was a lot of hype uh, behind this San Andreas Flight School update. Uh, we knew that we were going to get some new vehicles, especially some jets, and of course the fact that they're giving us new jobs here in GTA Online. You know that's awesome. There's not enough jobs; they need to add more. We all want heists. That goes without being said. But uh, what do you think about this uh, flight school update? Are you satisfied with this uh, latest update for Grand Theft Auto V? Yeah, I mean, I think it certainly meets uh, the expectations that I had for it. I mean, uh, it's been roughly the same amount of content as we've seen in the previous uh, DLC packs and updates. So, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting anything crazy. Um, obviously, I feel like Rockstar is holding off on a lot of their best stuff for the next, uh, well, now it's the current. Yeah, definitely. We will uh, jump into the next mission. Looks like it is called the City Moving Landing. Landing. Oh. City Landing, actually. It, it, or City Landing, you're right, yes. This one's this one's pretty fun, man. You're in a nasty thunderstorm. You're flying the Titan. Well, I don't know if it's lightning that strikes it, but your left engine goes out, and, uh, well, you got to land it on the beach. Damn. Let's do it. All 
All right, so this is going to be pretty uh, pretty interesting here, FPS Kyle. It's raining pretty hard. Oh, yeah. Uh, what the hell? Really crazy stuff. Do you remember this one, C-Dub? Yeah, this is uh, going to be pretty sketchy here, man. You got some really shitty weather, and uh, you're going to have a little bit of trouble with your engine in this one as well. Uh, your best bet is to try to land it there uh, quite gingerly. Set her down easy, and hopefully we can move on to the next mission. So this is me controlling uh, the big Titan here, guys. Uh, I wish, like FPS Kyle and C-Dub, I had done this beforehand and got some practices. Uh, this is a little bit more challenging than I thought it would be. I, of course, it's not going to take too many tries, that's for sure. But uh, nonetheless, these are pretty inventive challenges. And uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I really hope that Rockstar adds more stuff like this. Whoa! Uh, you're, you just got struck by lightning. And pretty cool. So your whole left side is down. Not good. Okay. It's a little bit more challenging to steer it. All right. There we go. The next checkpoint coming up. Oh man. So you're pretty much going to go over or by the uh, Ferris wheel actually and land this on the beach just past the boardwalk. Alright, I need to take a hard right here. There's the checkpoint. So I'm basically performing a knife flight right now. Uh, With the man. C130, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, this would definitely be quite the spectacle. Whoa, there's a huge lightning bolt. Watch out oh, for the Ferris wheel. fuck. Watch out for the Ferris wheel. I know, you gotta put it down here. You gotta get Are close. Are you kidding yep. me? Put, get your landing gear out. You're gonna have to get it close to the uh, checker circle there. Slow down. Oh. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Is this close enough? Bronze Star will gladly accept it. Thank goodness. <laughs> Let's move on. As our instructor says, I'm glad I'm not flying with you in that shit. <laughs> Thank you guys for uh, joining us for this episode. Make sure to stay tuned as we will be finishing out the San Andreas Flight School. Uh, please make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. We really appreciate it. Check out all of our other videos. And of course, as always, please make sure to stay trippy. Peace out, guys.